Blockchain is an accounting technology that facilitates the transfer of ownership of assets and maintains a ledger of financial information. As the name suggests, a blockchain consists of multiple blocks of digital information which are held in a public database known as a chain. The digital information held on each block is made up of transaction details, such as the time, date, value of the transaction, digital signatures of the parties involved in the transaction. Digital signatures are unique codes that are attached to users. They allow transactions to be assigned to that user without revealing any information that would reveal their identity. Hashes. A hash is a unique code which will be assigned to the block when it is added to the chain. An individual block can hold up to a megabyte of data. In each block, the blockchain will contain thousands of individual transactions. The individual blocks are arranged in a chain. When new data is stored in a block, this block will be added to the chain and the chain becomes increasingly large. Let's look now at the process that will be followed for a new block of data to be added to the blockchain. First, a transaction will take place. A transaction on blockchain starts when a user sends a request to another party. A unique address will be generated for each new request. A send and receive process is then carried out. This works similar in the way to a PayPal transaction would work. The transaction is then held in a pool of unauthorised transactions while it awaits verification. Next, the transaction is verified by the network of computers that is involved in the blockchain. This would involve confirming and checking details such as the date, time, value, items and parties involved in the transaction. This is achieved through a process known as consensus. The verified transaction is then stored, along with many other transactions in a data block. When all transactions in that particular block have been verified, a hash will be assigned to the block. Hash is a unique code that is used to identify the block. When the block has been hashed, it will then be added to the end of the blockchain. Once a block is added to the chain, it will be in the public domain and it can be viewed by anyone online. For example, the Bitcoin blockchain can be viewed on the website shown below. However, the website is not where the blockchain itself is physically located. A key feature of blockchain technology that distinguishes it from traditional information systems is the fact that it is decentralised. This means there is no underlying definitive copy of the blockchain held in a central location. The blockchain is in fact located across the entire network of computers that are connected to the blockchain. The blockchain website provides a portal where information about the blockchain can be viewed, but it does not allow visitors to join the blockchain, nor does it allow transactions to take place. To participate in the blockchain, the user would need to request that their computer is added to the blockchain network. Once added to the network, the computer will receive a copy of the entire blockchain. Every computer that is connected to this network receives its own identical copy of the blockchain, so there will be thousands or maybe millions of copies of the blockchain spread across the network.